So look at this, virtually, not quite, but virtually everybody peeling in. And into the staying out is Marco Sorensen. So the, the Aston Martin now leads, and that could either be the right or the wrong call. We'll see in a lap's time. But Marco Sorensen has stayed out for another lap, as has Alex Arca, as has Albert Costa. But you've got the first four, out of the first 17, 14 of them came into the pit lane. Jules Gounon is in as well. Yeah, I mean, the, the, I, mean I don't know. I would have gambled on staying out simply because. Um, well, he's looking for, for Valentino Rossi, looking for his pits. He couldn't see, can't see where it is. He almost came to a standstill on the way in. And I hope he hasn't over, over uh, shot his pits. He, don't undo the buckles. You can undo the, you can undo the straps. But oh, he, he's gone through. I he thought he had. It. I so thought he had. Right, he's going to have to do another lap. He's back up to speed. So Valentino Rossi, yeah, well. It's a new discipline to him, doing all that, you know, relatively. I know he's done a bit of GT racing, but it's relatively new. So lesson learned, he's back out on track, but that's going to go against them. Yeah, and I think part of the problem was the, the crew on the 46 Audi maybe were not standing as visually, partly because there was traffic all around. So you can't put a human being out into a very busy pit lane. And, of course, Valentino maybe looking but couldn't quite work out where he should be. So he's overshot and uh, had to re-tighten the seat belts, get back in the line of traffic and then go and do another lap and come in and hopefully this time there will be clear space and a, and a clear indication to where he needs to stop.